Welcome back to the California Gardener. Today it's June 26th. I'm gonna give you a tour around my garden to see th how things have changed in the last month. Some of the plants are starting to get old and actually die off in the heat and uh, some of the plants are starting to take off and really do well. So let's just take a look behind me here. Behind we have the corn. It's starting to go to uh, make some pollen and produce some corn ears. They don't look like they're gonna be very big. I probably planted them too close together. Too many came up. Over there I have little better ears on the plants that are further apart. I'm gonna see how they do. And uh, my pumpkins are doing really well, producing a lot of pumpkins, so I'm kind of happy about that. Let's go take a look at everything else. I'm always impressed by the tomato growth down here in Southern California. These ones are the husky tomatoes. They're a little bit bigger than cherry tomatoes, as you see down here. Uh, they're growing. They're a good size to eat. And you can just wipe them off, pop them in your mouth. Mmm, they taste sweet, very nice tomato flavor. As you see, my tomatoes are growing on up the strings like I showed you earlier in the year, producing some really nice tomatoes. Look at all those tomatoes back there. Just loaded with nice sized tomatoes. These ones I've thinned out really well. You see the plants just have a few leaves on them, producing really nice big tomatoes. There's a large tomato right there. A bunch of red ones hiding back there, getting ready for us to make into tomato sandwiches. I've cleaned off most of my cherry tomatoes already. The plants are kind of dying off, I guess, in this heat. Down here we have these cool white looking squash uh, growing in the landscaping fabric. Over here we actually have a, a double. This one seemed to fuse in the blossom, so uh, it's growing a cool double uh, plant. So I'll pick that one right away. There's some more growing right there. And our crookneck squash are still growing. Look at them producing. There's a two right there and some more hiding back here still producing there. So just watch them. They keep growing throughout the season. A very large Cinderella pumpkin is growing right there with some other squash. Check out this pumpkin growing in our tomato cage. It's growing up off the ground. That's pretty large, probably about 10-12 pounds. So they do support themselves pretty well. Here's something else growing now. I haven't showed you this before. This is a jujube plant. So uh, they'll grow like this. They get uh, about the size of a ping pong ball. And they're actually very sweet. Once they start to turn brown and shiny, that's when you eat them. Uh, the birds love them too. So uh, they're actually like a dry apple. They taste like a dry apple, but they're not an apple. I don't really know what member of fruit they are, but I think they're an Asian type of fruit. They make great sauces and uh, just nice to eat fresh as well. Here's my once beautiful pea patch. It's now toppled over on itself. It's still producing peas. If you look up close, it's still producing nice peas, but uh, yeah, they're uh, starting to get old. This plant's gonna die in a little while and I'll have to pull it out. The lettuce is huge. We just ate some the other day. It's getting a little bit bitter, so probably soon I'll pull it all out and start over. You see it's getting kind of huge. Just have to show you this. These are uh, called burgundy beans, and uh, look at all them growing under here. There's a whole pile of them. Let's see if we can find them. It's hard for you to see. It's a little bit dark here, but there's actually lots growing. They actually taste great. There's a whole bunch growing here, just like that. They're very nice purple. If you eat them raw, they're pretty good. If you cook them up, they're just going to turn green. So if you want to put them in a fresh salad and keep that color, just uh, don't cook them or else they'll turn green. Check this out. This is one of those tomato plants that I just stuck the sucker in the ground. And it's actually growing tomatoes. Check that out. There's a few tomatoes on there right there. These are actually the green striped tomatoes. But uh, they're growing great. Here's another plant. Check this one out. It's already a few feet tall. Can break off one of the suckers. Chuck it, let it grow, it's blooming. And the one that looked like it was gonna die is now buried by peas under here. But it's still there and it's doing fine too. Uh, it's actually a little bit tall. But man, look at all those peas growing there. My pepper patch back here is not doing so hot this year. They are making a few peppers. I already picked some off there, but they're not as big as before. So maybe they'll continue to grow through the summer. I just can't remember how long it took them to get going. But let's go take a look at the bigger plants that I have hiding back here. So this is the back pathway now in my uh, tomato patch. You see the yard long cucumbers there. I have romas growing along the back fence. They're just taking over and uh, the rest of my tomatoes growing up the string trellis. So let's uh, make our way back around there. 
I have to get these tomatoes out of the way. So someone replied to one of my videos that peppers growing in the shade is no bueno. But down here in Southern California, they actually do really good. Look how big these uh, peppers are here uh, growing in Southern California. Look, I have a nice cucumber there. I guess I'll pick that one while I'm back here since it's kind of nice and I might forget about it. That's a nice cucumber. Let's go check out. I have another big pepper growing back here. You see, it's completely shaded by all these tomato plants. But if we go down, it's doing just great. Look how big this pepper is. It's like as big as that cucumber. That's a huge pepper. Very nice bell pepper. And these tomatoes back here are growing just awesome. We'll just check them out. Look at all those nice, beautiful red tomatoes growing there. So many to eat. I have loads of tomatoes to eat here. Here's my beans growing great. I just picked them yesterday. That a trellis was full of uh, pole beans. And then I picked these other beans, yellow and purple string beans, uh, the a few last week, and they're already starting to make a few more beans, so be able to pick a few more there soon. So these are the guavas I showed you earlier. They're already done blooming, and they're starting to turn into little fruits you see there. So these are gonna be great fruits later this fall. I love eating guavas. If you do, consider planting a guava tree in your backyard. Here's my landscaping fabric, eggplant and peppers. These eggplant plants are growing huge. And there's also already some uh, Japanese eggplants growing under there. Black beauties are just about ready to start producing some fruits. Check it out, there's a Japanese eggplant right there. And a few more down there, three more down there. So we're gonna be able to eat them in a few days. I'm pretty excited, this is the best our air pomegranate tree has ever done. There are pomegranates everywhere. I think last year we maybe had 12 pomegranates this year. There's probably like 30 or 40 pomegranates hanging on this tree. They're everywhere. My beets are growing really nicely. They're starting to get a little bit bigger. The leaves are growing great. There's a row of lettuce that I pretty much demolished. And uh, here's my cucumbers that are really taking off. They're overgrowing the trellis. I'm finding cucumbers everywhere. Let's take a look close down and see some of the cucumbers growing. Check out these cucumbers. These are actually growing near the ground. Uh, they've actually pulled the plants down off the trellis, uh, but they'll start growing on the trellis pretty soon because the plants are really taking off. And you see up further up here, check out all those blossoms and uh, starting to make little cucumbers like this under this trellis. And here under a little bit of shade from that cucumber trellis, is this red Swiss chard, which is just huge, growing like crazy. I really need to eat some. Same with this kale. Look at this kale just taking off. Now you see, here's a few small cucumber plants that I didn't put on any trellis here. They're not doing at even close to as well as the ones growing on the trellis. So shows you how much better the plants really grow on the trellis than on the ground like that. My onions are a little bit full of weeds right now. I think they need a little bit of a weeding job. Uh, and probably need to water them a little bit. They seem to be uh, turning a little bit brown on the tops. Probably means they're a little bit dry. Check out that huge rhubarb plant behind there. It's massive. Check out all these big bunches of flame red uh, seedless grapes. These are the ones that I came by and pruned earlier and showed you in a different episode. And uh, they're doing really well. They're hiding everywhere. Just check them out everywhere. This tree is absolutely loaded with grapes and they're actually a pretty good size this My year. My peaches are slowly getting bigger. I hope that they start to take off soon before they ripen up. I'd like them to get a bit bigger uh, size. You see I've spaced them out a bit, three or four inches between the fruits to make them uh, grow a little bit bigger. And we couldn't forget the beautiful flowers growing in the backyard. I love when these lilies pop up every year. They look so beautiful. And then if we look around this side, we'll see this a uh, Japanese eggplant. Oh, Callie, don't pull it off oh. yet. It's not ready. Oh. Yeah, a Japanese eggplant there. Another one down there and another one lower. 